Hey guys, welcome to the review, and today I'm going to be talking about the Tower of Endurance Level 3. Uh, I made previous videos about Level 2 and, and Level 1 and some strategies that I was doing with that. I got high on Level 2 where I can make it to Level 3 with ease, and I felt that it was better to do that. Not only that, I realized after the videos and I started playing a little bit more that my strategy was good but not so good just because of the fact that of the spells that you get to unlock after you complete the towers so those are additional spells that i can use in the game during the tower of endurance through other game modes during other things that i may not uh, be coming across yet but the fireworks is the one spell that we're gonna that i'm gonna talk about real quick about and I think that, that was, that's going to be useful in the long run. But before I get into the Tower Endurance, I do want to talk about what was my strategy before. So my strategy before was that once I get into here, since I can't go back to level 2, I would do all these towers over and over again, get the tokens or the coins, and go back to use them and later on. So I would come to the exchange, use these spell packs, and boom, I'm good. I did do that for a time, but then I realized that by doing that, it lim limited my options as far as which spells I could get in the random shot. And again, I could randomly get Dumbo, I could randomly get, you know, the, the Prince John and all those things. But then if I wanted to get the Zap tokens or the um, Cauldron, which I've come across several times characters have that, or players, I should say, and it's been a really useful tool and I've seen a combination with the Horn King and I'm about to unlock him. So I really need to unlock this spell so that I can get into that combination. So that's why I made the jump to level three and that's kind of the reason why I wanted to get to the next stage so I could do that. And then when I realized when I got into the next stage, I thought I could be pretty decent because I have a pretty decent squad with downtown heroes, with kingdoms and things of that sort I knew it was oceanic and I only have like four oceanics available so I knew that was going to be the ch most challenging part I'm glad in this particular case that they combined it with kingdom so that you can use kingdom with the oceanic characters and that way you can build a squad and things of that sort what I don't like about it and I think it's going to be the most challenging part for any one of us is the oceanic must have so we must have one oceanic and that's at level three i tried going a little bit further up just to test it out just to see what i can do and it turns out that not so much and i have only three characters left and i just hit the battle button so i'm just gonna do this real quick you can see real quick what i'm doing and that charm is extremely powerful Boom, you can see it's a little bit challenging. These characters right here, which we're not even available to us to use, they have a special hit that hits over 2,000. I've seen one time 4,000, and that's pretty ridiculous. And that's one of my Oceanic characters that I have left. That's really challenging for any one of us to, to get past that, with especially that skill level here. So what I wanted to show you is actually the amount of characters I got left. And here it is. So these are all the oceanic, oceanic characters that I have, as well as kingdom characters. As you can see, all of them are gone. I have none of my other ones that are, or other characters that I've leveled up, that I've worked on in this little set. So now I have to work on these characters to be at three stars and higher. So that way they can be a little bit more effective when I come to do these towers. So that's a challenging part, and I, if you haven't done it yet, definitely take the time to level up these characters. We just had the recent update where Tinkerbell was moved, so now that I'm in Tower 3 and I really need to farm Tinkerbell, it's going to be really, really hard because I'm going to have to use the Grand Campaign to get her tokens because that's the only place I can farm her without spending any gems or any real world money or things of that sort. Captain Hook's pretty easy to... to build up for an oceanic character uh captain jack i've been leveling him up little by little using the exchange if you're not familiar how to get him real quick just show you the exchange portion right here oh sorry the club 
Uh, I've been getting his tokens little by little, so that way I can get him higher and higher. I'm almost at six stars with him, so that's one of the best things I have going on with a particular character. So, you know, I just wanted to show you real quick what the Tower 3 is all about. If you haven't done it already, you know, definitely take the time to start leveling up those characters that I showed you so that you can move forward. Now, back the next day after recording this and I leveled up all the characters a little bit more but also went up to the fourth stage because I really wanted to see what was after the third one and I came across something to show you was that now it includes at app three or level three it includes available characters so you have all your characters available here you can level them up so you do have to have the oceanic that's a must but you can add any one of the characters that you've been using to you know use to build them up so for example i don't have mickey's at level two i don't need mickey right now i have better characters that i can use so for example i'm going to use mordu to get that taunt i have robin hood that's fine because he has a star five and ariel i have to have and captain jack i need to have as well shen yu i'm going to keep there for the kingdom effect and that's pretty much it so i just wanted to show you that you can build other characters for the tower three you just really want to focus your attention on building the oceanic and the oceanic characters were the ones you are going to need to have the strongest out of all of them so there's four available i again i have captain jack pretty high i need to work on ariel tinkerbell and captain hook because they die really quickly and if you're going to progress forward there's a must right now of two oceanic characters so that is at stage four so I have to get all the way up to stage 10 and to only have four available oceanics plus you know they have to have i have to have two of them every single time it's going to be really really hard for any one of us to do and that is something you really want to work on there are again other oceanic characters and i again i want to go back to it real quick so you guys can see so we can't get maui and we can't get stitch so the only one you can get on top of that to make it a fifth is is uh davy jones so davy jones you can really unlock him as far as i remember in the conquest or you could purchase him if you like as well so in the conquest you're able to do that or you can even do it at the vip exchange i think it, it uses gems so you can get him here so those are a few ways you can add more oceanic characters and also for you to build a strategy based on what you have so that you can have a solid team when fighting one through three stages and maybe those are also increasing the levels on your existing kingdom characters or the ones that are available as well so keep that in mind i just wanted to give you that quick info again one of the other things i mentioned was the spells so the spell i just recently unlocked and i want to show you guys is the the thunder mountain uh boom which is the explosions you get that as a bonus when you complete tower three so with this we're going to go over it real quick so i'm going to lock it real quick and at level one it inflicts boom on all opponents for two turns boom on natural expiration deals up to 50 damage you can also get an additional 44 per level so depending on the character's level they can get uh, additional 44 hit, so making it a 94 damage once it explodes. And then usually, you've probably seen this already, the guy throws it out after two turns or after they use a turn, it gets hit. And usually, depending on what the character is, doesn't have a lot of life and boom, he's, he's gone. So you lose his characters pretty quickly and to have that on all characters is pretty useful. Now, if you get him to level two, boom, it flicks stun for one turn on a natural expiration and then 20 damage on level three and then boom removes one magical charge for all abilities on natural expiration so that's not bad especially if you're trying to put this on a character like for example comes to mind is manicor he has a, a charge up for a magic i think there's one or two other people that do that same thing. I just can't remember the names right now. But either or, this is something that can be useful as you level him up. Definitely going to need a lot more resources to get to that one. But hey, 
if you got the time and you got the cash, you can do it. I'm a free to play, so I don't really do it too often. So let's just go, just to show you real quick, I'm gonna go into some quick gameplay and that way you can see what it's all about. All right, here we go. So the charge up on this on this spell is really, really slow. But if you have the time, hopefully, like I do, here, maybe I can show you guys what it's all about. And I'm just doing basic attacks because I want it to charge more. So it seems to charge up based on your attack. So the more you attack, the more it charges up. So it's a pretty slow charge. Maybe if I did some specials, it would have increased. I guess I can't show you guys because I don't want to drag out the video too long. But, you know, definitely want to consider getting Tower 2 done so you can get this effect. You've, I'm sure you've seen it. So I, I believe that you guys have seen it. I just wanted to show you myself, but I guess I can't do it. Anyways, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos please hit that like and subscribe button below let me know if there's any new information you want me to put out um you know if there's any videos you want me to make things of that sort i'm more than happy to do that for you guys so thanks so much guys have a nice day bye